हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई टी जंक्शन फॉर ऑल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट फाइव सो द टेबल विच इज सोन हियर इज ऑर्डर टेबल एंड इट कंटेन्स फोर कॉलम्स नेमली ऑर्डर डे ऑर्डर आई डी प्रोडक्ट आई डी क्वान्टिटी एंड प्राइस सो बेसिकली दिस टेबल कंटेन्स टू डेज डेटा first the highlighted one is the first me data the one without highlighted one is the second me data and it has all the details transaction details that the, which product got sold that is product id and pro, what what is the order id and the number of quantity it got sold and what is the price of that product so now let's go back go to the problem statement so first problem statement write a sql query to get all the products that got sold on both the days and num and the number of times the product is sold so we have to write a sql query which got which will display the products that is the product id that got sold on both the days that is the first may and the second may and number of times the product is sold so if we go back to our our order table let's see for example we take the product product id product 1 so if we see the product 1 it got sold on the first may and again it got sold on the pro, uh, pro, uh, on the first may with order number 4 and this product is again sold on the second may with order number 7 so this product if you if you if you look at the table this pro, this product id got sold on both the days that's why it is available in our output table product 1 it got sold for three time that's why the count is 3 similarly if we see the product id equal to product 2 it got sold on the first may and again it got sold on the uh, sec uh, on the second may if you see that order number 10 it again it got sold so it is it is getting sold on both the both the days that's why it is available in our output table if you see the uh, the other product like product number 4 which got sold only on the second may but not on the first may so that's why it is not available in our output table now let's go back to our to our second problem statement The second problem statement says, "Write a SQL to get the products that was ordered on second of May, but not on first May." So let's go back to our main table. If you see, many of our product is sold on both the days. Like, see, product number one got sold on the with order ID order one sold on the first May, and again it got sold on the second May. but we don't want such data we want only the product which got sold on second may that only product has to be displayed so if you if you see our product id product number 4 5 6 is there if you see the data here product 4 is it, it is it is sold only on the second may product number 5 it is only on the uh, sold on second may it is not present in the first may and product number 6 it is again it is sold only on the second may not not on the first may that's why it is there in our output table so now we can see how how we can write the sql query to achieve this output table well, this question has been asked in amazon interview questions uh, for the role of data analyst so now we'll try to solve the first question that is the write a sql query to get all the products that got sold on both the days that is first may and the second may and number of times the product is sold so what what i am doing over here i am selecting the product id because we want the product name to be displayed and the count of product id that is the, uh, that will give the number of times the product is sold and i am adding additional column called count of distinct order day so this will give when uh, this will show or display how many days are involved for that product id 
and I'm, I'm, I'm selecting these columns from the order table and I'm grouping by product ID. So if I run this piece of code, we'll get the result as product one got three times. And if you say, if you see the both account uh, here, the third column is returning value as two. That means distinct or distinct of date is two. That means both the date is involved. So if I if I filter out the unwanted records by by having clause having count of distinct order day greater than one. So if I if I use this having clause, it will remove the uh, product number four, five, and six because they are having only only one day date is involved because the count is one. So if I run full this full piece of code will get our desired result so but we don't want the third column so we'll comment this so now if i run this piece of code we'll get the desired result now let's move to second question second question says get me the products that was ordered on 2nd may but not on 1st may so this can be solved first will i will show you by using subquery so first what I'm doing, I am selecting distinct of product ID from the order table where order day is 2nd of May. So if I run this piece of code, we'll get all the distinct product ID which was sold on the 2nd May. But out of this list, out of this list, there are many product which got sold on 1st May also, but that needs to be discarded. So how, how we can discard those the product ID? So what we'll do, we'll add, add another clause here and product ID not in, wherein we'll provide the subquery, select product ID from order table where order day is 1st of May. So he, this subquery will, this sub, this subquery will return all the products, product ID, which was sold on 1st of May. So, so what I am doing over here, we are selecting all the product ID which was sold on the 2nd May and then we are filtering it with those product ID which are, which are present in this subquery. So if I run this full piece of code, we will get our desired result. There is another way we can do this question by using join. So here what I'm doing, I'm selecting product ID from the order table for the second May and keeping this result set in the subquery A. And again, I am selecting the product ID for, for or, uh, from the order table for first May. So these are the product which got sold on the first May. Now I'm doing a left join between the result set of first and the second on the product ID. So and we are selecting product ID from A table and the B table. And if I run this piece of code, we'll get the both the result because it's a left join. We'll get the matching records between the A table and the B table. A table is the one having the, containing the product ID uh, for the second May, and the B table is the one uh, which uh, which contains the product ID for the first May. So it has. Uh, it has both matching and the non-matching, but we want only the non-matching records. That means the one which is having a B dot product ID as null. Those records, our those records will fulfill our requirement. So if I run this full piece of code, let me uncomment this. We get our desired desired result. So we don't want the p dot product id so if i run this full piece of code we'll get our desired result there is another way also to solve this question that is a very simple basic way to solve this this is the by using except query so what we are doing we are selecting product id from the order table where order day is second may 
and then we are doing a accept accept key using accept keyword and then selecting product id where order day is first may so if we run this full piece of code we'll get our desired result that is product 4 5 and 6 so these are the three met methods by which we can solve this question so if you like this video please like my video and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you